What's up everybody, today we're going to be making a new block which is reinforced stone as you can see here. Well it just looks like normal stone but let me show you this in a second. It is uh, impervious to explosions so uh, let's just give ourselves some um, 46, the infamous, the powerful and then we need a lever um, but I'm just going to place some to end this freaking sound always. Um, just play some TNT around here. Now, um, how we're going to be making this um, today is the easiest po possible way without any real understanding of coding, although I will explain as much as possible. Um, so let's give us a lever here. Bam. All right. There we go. So it'll go off, hopefully without a hitch. There we go. And um, our stone stays. And that's, how, that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Um, it's going to have its own block ID, in this case 97, but you can almost set it to whatever you want. Um, and uh, yeah, look at that. Reinforced stone, of course. And uh, next tutorial, I might be showing you guys a way in um, in order to actually craft the reinforced stone. Because as of right now, the only way you'll be able to get this is through too many items or um, uh, what is the uh, single player command. So I uh, think, yeah, let's uh, let's start this. So by the intro, you can probably tell that we're making a block. Um, what I've done today is made these two files, um, tutorial text file 1 and tutorial text file 2. Actually, we can just delete all of that because that's something I was doing previously. Um, and uh, basically, these two files will be in the description inside of a zip. And um, what they are is basically um, pre-compiled stuff of, um, by compiled, I mean like I've typed them up. Um, so you guys don't have to do all the work pretty much um, I've pre-made them and preset them to um, basically uh, so anyone can understand it and uh, I'm gonna go over it and you know so you can make your own Im individual block and not what I'm doing exactly so um, first of all in tutorial text file 1 all you're gonna have to do is copy all of this and paste it into a new file and uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna change the file to what you want it to be um, so we're going to make reinforced stone today. So what we're going to do is R stone, and uh, that's what I'm going to call it, block R stone. So right here, public class, block, leave that, do a capitalize, your first letter, and then all the other ones, uh, lowercase. And then down here where it says example yet again, um, all you're going to have to do is change that to R stone or whatever this was previously. Um, so it's not rocket science, just make sure you have your capitals where they are supposed to be um, and you know not anything else. Now you might be wondering what this material.rock is. Basically um, this rock is stone but if we wanted it to be say a dirt block we just need to get ground. Basically you can open up whatever you want and pull the skin from there. Um, so if we wanted, you know, uh, what else could we really want? I don't know, cobblestone. You'd probably put cobblestone, but just for a reference check, open up the block cobblestone or whatever it's called. Um, it's probably block cobblestone um, or block cobble or something like that. Um, and uh, just see what it is right in here. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at rock because we're reinforced stone. Um, and that's all. That's all we have to do for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to save it. And we're going to save it as block and uh, R stone. And this has to be block. It's kind of what this is right here. Um, block R stone. It's actually exactly what that is. So save it as that. And then save it as a Java source file. Um, and uh, that's why I recommend having Notepad++. Notepad++ is because you already have. It's meant for coding. So you already have all of these different um, files you can save it as. Um, for coders and stuff like that, for other coding, you know, systems, but that's not the point. So save that as block, blah, 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 whatever was found here into your, um, your source files. And there goes my dryer again. It is deafening. I don't know why it keeps on going off, but whatever. So that's that. Save it. Um, and then all the color will change and stuff because it now knows it's a Java file. All right. Now in tutorial two, um, you see there's two strings of text. Um, two of them. Um, so we have public, this public static and this um, blockity block. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our, um, oh wow, I love how it just brings me to here automatically. So MCP source Minecraft net Minecraft source and we're just gonna open up block.java. So just 
right there. And um, as you can see, it's just a whole big thing of text. This is where all of the things are saved. If you watch my previous tutorials, you would know what this looks like. Um, scroll down to see all these um, public static finals. And um, go back into tutorial file 2. Copy this top one and paste it right underneath this last public static file, which is currently trapdoor. Um, and rename example to whatever yours was, our stone, no capital, um, do not capitalize this, um, highly recommended you don't. Alright, so, um, because you'll get an error if you do. Um, so once you've done that, go down um, a little bit and you'll see all of the um, files that we saw previously and that we edited previously. Um, just uh, make a space right above stone, go back into your tutorial text or tutorial file too, and um, paste the second line of code into there. Uh, rename example this first example to R Stone with no capital capital. Uh, rename this second example to R Stone or whatever yours is with the capital. Um, and then this is nine. This right here is your item ID. It can't be lower than 97 currently, but you can check the item IDs by going down, and you'll see that the highest right now, which is Trapdoor, is 96 right here. Um, you can also edit these um, just as long as they don't, um, you know, as long as two things don't have the same ID. Um, you can also edit these, and uh, and then after 96, the next one's 256, um, which would be uh, what? Are, oh yeah, these slabs. So um simply just don't go up to 256 or you know you can pass 256 I'm sure um but don't go below 96 and uh don't step on the 95 don't uh type in 956 that's i mean 256 ah jeez lots of words okay so that's not rocket science really so 97 will be our current ID, um but you know it doesn't really matter um and then this second ID is the um uh, what is this again? Ooh, poo. I forgot. Um, da, 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 da. you know what? I forget, so I'm going to leave that alone, and I'm not going to tell you guys something wrong, because that would suck. Anyways, moving on, set hardness. We'll have the hardness to points 0.1, because we're actually point zero. You know, I'm feeling crazy. And then the resistance, we're going to put on a whole bunch of nines because we don't want this to blow up for anything. Of course, we could simply find the bedrock and find the resistance for that. Uh, this unbreakable and um, just put in all this if we want it to be unbreakable, but we don't want that. Um, and then for sound, we're going to leave it a stone because it is a stone. And then for block name, we want to rename example to our stone. Um, no caps, okay. Uh, I highly recommend not putting any caps and no spaces. Um, our stone, just for now. Uh, you could put reinforced stone, but I don't think it's really necessary for the sake of the tutorial. Um, then save it and uh, make sure you save this block Java yet again. Uh, go into your main MCP directory and click recompile.bat and let it recompile its um, stuff. And if you don't get any errors, then you're golden. As you can see, this is what no errors look like. Um, but if you do get any errors, let me know in a personal message or a comment, and I will try to help. Um, and if you don't want your information getting out of what you're working on, um, then send me a PM uh, with the piece of code, with the error, and um, I'll, uh, I'll do my best to fix it. So there we go. And then all we have to do is run reomphenskate.bat. Re oomph and skate, re oomph and skate, and basically what it will do is it will create class files, and there we go. And now we go into the re oomph folder, Minecraft, and we have our two new um, files: block um, our stone class dot class, and then uu dot class, um, and then we put these in our um, jar files by going to our you know dot Minecraft not the dot the dot. Um, so paste that in as you can see I already have a bunch of things in here now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and hop over onto my um, fraps so you don't see you know blue bars and whatnot so I'll be right back alright we're back and um, I have some you know some items set with me here um, but uh, first of all I'm gonna show you that our ID is 97 that we set 
um, and we'll see here that we have uh, our stone. Now, I'm sorry, but I don't really know how to fix that title thing. Um, that is the one flaw in, um, you know, in what I do. I, I I've never been able to fix that. Um, of course, I've been into modding that long, but uh, sorry about that. So let's just put a ring of our magical stone here and uh, place some TNT all around it. All right, almost done. A little more, just to uh, emphasize the explosion. Give us a lever. Just one of them will be do. Will do. And uh, flip it and run for our lives. And what we'll see is the TNT explode and everything else is devastated except for our stone. So um, also it breaks super instantly. Um, so thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you'd like to leave a like and there will be more Minecraft modding tutorials in the near future. Um, including how to make a crafting recipe for these guys or something. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.